and welcome to Happy Place Virtual Festival. My name is Roz Pressel, creator of Natural Born Feeder Food Blog and Books. Now today, we are gonna cook, wait for this, homemade pizza. Oh, it is so, so good. Now this pizza, it is made with some sweet potato and some oats. Probably two things we may already have in our kitchen. It is so easy, you will not believe it, considering how good it tastes. Okay, so first of all, let's go through our ingredients. We have got 400 grams of sweet potato. The sweet potato is peeled. It does taste better when it's peeled. It is a nicer dough when it is peeled. So let's go for peeled sweet potato. And I've also steamed mine. So a few different options for steaming, which I'll let you, let you in on a little bit later on. So we have 400 grams peeled sweet potato. We then have 200 grams of oats. You can use jumbo oats, you can use porridge oats. Big or small, does not matter. Uh, we've got two tablespoons of some oregano, lovely. And two tablespoons of olive oil. So that is our pizza base and it makes two pizzas, two whole pizzas, unreal. Okay, so what else we're we gonna need? We're gonna need some sort of like food processor or blender, okay? So today I'm just gonna use a Nutribullet because a lot of us have Nutribullets at home. So let's kick into this recipe. Are you guys ready to go? All right, okay. Let's pop our 200 grams of oats into our blender first. We're using our blender just to mill these oats into kind of a fine flour. So a blender food processor will work perfectly here. Whew. All right, okay. So I'm gonna show you the texture of this. It's a nice, fine flour. Still a little bit gritty, but there's no whole pieces of oats. You probably wouldn't even be able to tell that this was made from oats. And that's the kind of consistency that we want. Uh, so depending on what you use, in a Nutribullet, it's gonna take about 20 seconds. In a food processor, it might take a little bit longer. So just working to get that consistency. Uh, with our oat flour, we can just tip it into our large mixing bowl. And there it goes. Right, keep out that blender. We are now gonna go for our steamed sweet potato. So a few options here, you can steam it over the hob like you usually would steam vegetables, or if you're a little bit lazy and you wanna make this in a rush, don't blame you, um, you can simply dice up your sweet potato into chunks, just like so, pop it into a microwavable bowl. So maybe one of your breakfast bowls is microwavable, dinner bowl, pop it all in your, in your bowl. You wanna add about two inches of water. You wanna place a lid on top, or just a plate, create a lid using a plate. And we're gonna pop it on high power in the microwave for about four and a half minutes until it's nice and tender. You can check with the fork and if it needs a little bit more, pop it on for a little bit longer um, until we get that nice, tender, soft sweet potato. All right, okay, my sweet potato's in the blender. I'm gonna pop in my oregano. I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of olive oil. One, and two, lovely stuff. Okay, we're gonna pop that lid back on. We're gonna blend this up. This time we want a kind of very smooth mashed potato consistency. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, so depending on your food processor or blender, this might take anywhere between 30 seconds to two minutes, okay? We're looking for that nice, creamy, smooth texture. Oh, no lumps there, it's all blended, lovely. Ooh, that is what we're looking for. Okay, we're gonna tip this into our bowl of ground up oats. Get it all out now, don't leave any behind. Okay, once you've done a fair enough job getting it all out of this, do not forget the lid if you're using something like a Nutribullet. So, get it all out, every last bit. I hate when people don't scrape things clean. This is all the good ingredients. Okay, all right, recap. I've got my blended oats in here. I have my mix of sweet potato, olive, and oregano blended up nice and smooth. And it is time to mix these two together. So grab a big spoon and let's fold them together, working this into a nice firm dough. 
Using the back of the spoon to really make sure that there's no dry ingredients left. We're mixing all that blended up oats with that sweet potato. Oh, it's going to turn a lovely orange color. There you go. All right, okay. Bring it all together. And that is what our mix is going to look like. So it's like orange pizza, I guess, but I, honestly, it tastes delicious. Do not worry. Okay. Take a breather. All that mixing is actually, it is pretty much an arm workout. Okay, let's clean up a little bit. Let's move everything off to the side. What you don't know is that there's honestly a mess all around me because I've been cooking all day in the kitchen. But I hide it well, I hide it well in my videos. Okay, Woo. we need a large flat baking tray. If you have one of those, let's grab it, let's get it out. Okay, breathe We're doing good, we're doing good. I'm gonna grab the olive oil again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add about a teaspoon of olive oil onto my tray. Just using your fingers, spread it out all along that flat baking tray. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take half my dough, just with my hands. I don't even need to say this, but make sure those hands are clean. And I'm just gonna roll it into a ball. Nice and easy. The dough is not gonna be too wet or too dry. Uh, so your hands shouldn't get too sticky or messy. So there, that is one of my pizza doughs. Woo! Now, don't worry, you don't have to be really skilled to roll this out. You don't have to be like flinging it around in the air. This is way easier. So we're gonna place this on the tray, just like so. And we're gonna press it out into whatever kind of pizza shape you like. You can go for a rectangle, you can go for a circle, you can go for an oval shape. Do what suits you. So let's press this out. We want a nice thin crust. So I'm using my three middle fingers to press this out. I'm also using the palm of my left hand to give it shape. So I'm creating kind of a curve with my palm here there, just like that, I'm pressing the dough in. So every time I press the dough out a little bit, it's keeping that nice round shape. If you feel like your hands are getting a bit sticky, you can rub a little bit of olive oil on them and that'll help that the dough won't stick so much to your fingers. Okay, and just move the tray to get to the next side. You want to work from the center out because sometimes what happens is when you're making this you you get out and you're like oh the center is like there's a hill in the center so make sure that the center isn't a isn't a little bit of a hill pressing out oh this looks good i cannot wait to have this this is like my favorite recipe okay by the way, this recipe is from my latest cookbook, if anyone fancies. If you are looking for a new cookbook, I'm biased, but uh, a lot of work went into it. And this is one of my favorite recipes from it. Um, it's called No Fuss Vegan, and all the recipes are super easy. I don't like a fuss in the kitchen, and I like using ingredients that are accessible. Okay, this looks good. I'm happy with mine. There is my pizza base. So it doesn't matter if it's kind of textured, doesn't matter. If you really, really want to get a nice flat top, you can go for a little mini roller. Look how fancy this one is. I don't even know where I got this, but it's like a little marble roller. So you can always roll this out on top or you can use a spatula and press it in so it's nice and flat. But you know, it can be rough and ready. You can have a little texture, don't worry. Okay, lovely stuff. All right, okay. So just a little note, uh, if you have half the dough left and you're like, look, I'm not gonna have two pizzas myself tonight. You can roll that pizza, that other pizza out, cook it, um, just like we're gonna do now, and not put any toppings on. And you can freeze it for later on in the week, or you can pop it in the fridge for tomorrow's dinner. Um, so don't worry, it will not go to waste. All right, okay, my oven is preheated at, what is my oven preheated at? Just wanna make sure, you know, that, I don't get this wrong. 
Oh, I would have had this right anyway. My oven is preheated at 200 degrees. Oh yeah. And we're gonna pop this in for 25 minutes, okay? Set those timers, 25 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Well, of course, I do have a base prepared earlier for you guys. This is not my first rodeo. Uh, so when you have your base on, oh, as you can see, after 25 minutes, uh, my pizza has a lovely golden colored crust. Oh, it looks delicious. So now it is time to start thinking about what are we gonna top our pizza with? So many things you could go with here. Um, I kind of tend to go for my old favorites, maybe with a little mix of what's left in the fridge. Uh, I love to top my sweet potato pizza with a pesto base. So maybe you want to go for a pizza sauce base, tomato base, that's totally fine. Maybe you want to go for something different like hummus, baba ganoush. Do whatever, this is your pizza. So I'm going to start loading up my pizza. I have got some pesto. Uh, oh, red pesto is really good on this as well. I've got some vegan cheese. I've got some roast pumpkin. I just had some in the fridge I need to get rid of, but I do love roast pumpkin on top. Even though it's a super dated pizza, it's like double whammy. Um, I have got some sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, they are probably the best topping on this pizza. And some thinly sliced red onion. Maybe red onion isn't your thing, but I love it because it kind of goes nice and crispy on top. Um, so go for toppings at YouTube, even if it's pineapple. I do not judge, I do not judge. So after the 25 minutes, it is time to top your pizza. Uh, so we're gonna go for about two tablespoons of whatever topping you decide, whatever sauce you decide. I'm going for this lovely green pesto. Just use the back of the spoon to spread it all around. Get all the way to the edge. Oh, it smells so good already. Oh. All right, okay. Uh, next up, I'm gonna go for my burden of squash. I'm gonna sprinkle a few on. So I've simply just roasted this with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper for about 25 minutes until it's nice and tender and a little bit browned around the edges. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go for my sun-dried tomatoes. Just pop a few on there. All right, all right, okay. Some thinly sliced red onion. And I, I know I keep emphasizing thinly, but it, you want them to go nice and crispy. Uh, so if you if they're really thick cut, probably just gonna have pretty much raw onions on top. So uh, slice them as thinly as you can. Maybe use a mandolin peeler. Be careful with it. It is the most dangerous item in the kitchen. The amount of times I have my fingers have had plasters on them from the old mandolin peeler. Okay, so this is how we're looking now. Oh, I have my pesto. I have my burnt squash, sun dried tomato, and my thin sliced red onion. We're gonna go for a little bit of cheese. So I'm using a vegan cheddar here. I'm just gonna grate some on. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys to try this. Okay, we're popping. I, I like a little bit of cheese now. Put that on. Lovely, lovely. All right, let's have a look at my top pizza. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, we're gonna pop this in the oven for the final five minutes. And uh, this will give a chance for that sauce to really really suck into that pizza crust, give our cheese that meltiness and make those onions crispy. Come on, let's do it. This smells divine. Our pizzas are ready and check this out. How good does that look? I told you that this was so easy to make and so impressive, the end result. Hi right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this recipe and cooking alongside. If you have recreated the sweet potato pizza, do not forget to tag me at Happy Place Festival. I would love to see your photos. Happy eating and enjoy the rest of the festival. Now it's, I'm just gonna start talking in. If you like that video, there are loads more talks, classes, and exclusive videos from the Happy Place Virtual Festival. So don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Do follow us on Instagram for constant updates and enjoy.